Welcome to the last section of this course. This section is all about reinforcement learning in which we are going to train an agent to balance a card pool using deep Q networks. In this section, first we are going to see the applications of reinforcement learning. Then we are going to learn about the key concepts in reinforcement learning, followed by DQN or DQ networks and experience replay. So these are the techniques that we will use to achieve the goal of balancing a card pool. Then we are going to learn about the OpenAI gym environment. This is the environment in which we will train and execute our agent. Then we are going to actually code it up in PyTorch. We will build the agent and then we are going to see the training and testing of it. Reinforcement learning motivation. In this video, we are going to define the term reinforcement learning and then we are going to see some of the applications of reinforcement learning. Here is a formal definition of reinforcement learning. RL is an area of machine learning concerned with how software agents ought to take actions in an environment so as to maximize some notion of cumulative reward. So here I have highlighted the key terms in the definition which we are going to expand upon in the next video when we talk about concepts. But in essence, we are talking about an agent which learns to behave in a certain environment and tries to achieve a certain goal. So the way it differs from other types of learning is in supervised learning, we saw that we had labeled data. We had a mapping from an input to desired output and the algorithm, which in our case was a neural network, it learned the mappings of that data set from the input to desired output. For example, in image classification, the inputs were pixels and the output was the class of the image in that pixel, the class of the object in that image. In unsupervised learning, we saw that the data was not labeled, but the algorithm learns patterns in the data. For example, when we trained the denoising autoencoder, it learned how to separate the noise from the signal and thereby removing the noise and trying to reproduce the original image. Reinforcement learning, on the other hand, doesn't deal with upfront data, but it learns from experience. So while interacting with the environment, the agent learns what actions to take so as to move towards a desired goal. And that is given by rewards by the environment. A good example is a self-driving car where the agent is the car itself and it interacts with its own environment, the road, the pedestrians and so on. And it tries to maximize its goal, which is moving from point A to point B without causing any harm. Talking about applications of reinforcement learning, the company that comes to mind is DeepMind. Since 2012, they have been having a series of successes in reinforcement learning, which has actually stunned the world. In 2013, they released a paper describing an agent they built based on deep reinforcement learning, which alone could play and win against seven Atari games. They used neural networks with Q learning, something that we'll talk about in the next video, which came to be known as the Deep Q networks or DQN. The agent was generic and was not tailored to any single game. It outperformed all previous approaches on six games and surpassed human experts on three of them. In 2016, DeepMind's AlphaGo algorithm actually beat a world champion Lisa Dole in the game. Go is considered much more difficult for computers to win compared to other games like chess due to the much larger number of possibilities which makes it prohibitively difficult for traditional AI methods such as brute force. In March 2016 it bit Lee a ninth Dan Go player and one of the highest ranked player in the world with 4-1 in a 5 match game. In 2017 an improved version AlphaGo Zero defeated AlphaGo 100 games to zero. AlphaGo Zero's strategies were self-taught. It did not see any game being played but learned just from the rules and self-play. AlphaGo Zero was able to beat its predecessor after just three days with less processing power than AlphaGo. In comparison, the original AlphaGo needed months to learn how to play. And later that year, Alpha Zero, a modified version of AlphaGo Zero, gained superhuman abilities at chess and shogi solely. Like AlphaGo Zero, Alpha Zero learned through self-play. Reinforcement learning is one of the many techniques being used in training autonomous cars to navigate itself in streets without human assistance. 
RL is also extensively used to teach robots to work on real-world problems and do novel tasks like sorting items in a factory, plucking fruits in orchards, or cleaning your home all by itself. And of course, there are many, many more applications of reinforcement learning. In another note, artificial general intelligence, which is the intelligence of a machine that could successfully perform any intellectual task that a human being can, is kind of the holy grail of artificial intelligence. And reinforcement learning is considered to be the most encouraging, the most viable approach to attain the same. And finally, in the list of examples, this is what we are going to do in the exercise. We are going to train this cart to be able to balance that pole all by itself by adjusting its movements left and right. So again, we'll be using reinforcement learning and deep Q networks to do this training. So that was a subset of the things reinforcement learning can be used to do. 